Good morning, everybody. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Colin Horner. I am a BNI member, but I happen to also be what is called a direct or consultant. So I'm going to do in the next 10 minutes what Nikki Vernon suggested in her 60-second uh, presentation. I'm going to conduct a business audit on you. I'm going to look at you from outside, okay? Reassured, there's been a lot of analysis done here. I'll open it to audit, but I'm going to try and present it in an interesting and visual way. Very interesting, my first site is Power of One, two of your slides said Power of One. What is Power of One? Power of One basically says each member commits to one CEU point per week. That's chapter education units. One meeting per week, one one-to-one -one per week, and one, re one referral per week. And then up at the top left there, one visitor per month. That's what you commit to in Power of One. Now it's interesting, four of those affect you as members. Only one affects the group as a whole, i.e. bringing visitors in. Okay, so that's Power of One. The next one I said is making members more money. I, mean, I was going to put another M on. How do I measure whether members are making more money? I do it through a system called Traffic Lights. It's a BNI system that's been in existence for 30 years. And basically the traffic lights measure seven key performance indicators of the chapter against the standard and they score you. Okay. And if you study the traffic lights properly, you'll understand where you are and where you're going. Okay. So the three first key performance indicators are the number of people in the chapter. I'll come back to that, but Sadash referred to it. The number of people in the network. Less the number of people who don't attend. Meetings, one-to-ones, or whatever. So that's a negative. And then thirdly, the referrals you pass between the network. Okay. Putting this into what we call the BNI theater, we meet every week and we invite visitors to attend and observe, and hopefully encourage them to convert to members. So the number of visitors and the number of people we manage to convert to members. Okay. Offset by, regrettably, people leaving the network for whatever reasons. So members join us and then they leave. Okay. So we measure the difference, and we measure how this network is growing, and we also measure, because it's important to us, how we manage to retain members, okay? So those are the seven criteria. <clears throat> but drilling it in, I call the revenue drivers these three, okay? The size of the network, less people who are not participating, and the number of referrals we're <coughs> passing. And I call those the revenue drivers. That's what's driving your revenue, okay? And the revenue drivers for you are you attend the meetings, you listen, you observe, and you absorb the business of the other people. And you then select to have what we call one-to-ones, where you really get to know the people. We use a gains process, you get to know their goals, their interests, etc., etc. And that allows you to provide referrals for them. So those are the revenue drivers. Okay. But you also got a responsibility to grow the chapter size because the bigger this chapter becomes, the more opportunities for networking you've got. So you do have that responsibility of bringing visitors in. One per month. Not very challenging. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the numbers that Sadash had put up before. If you have a chapter size of 20, there are 300, 380 networking opportunities. As you increase to 30, it becomes 870. As you increase to 40, it becomes 1,560. These are numbers where I can show you how they work out. So, if you double the size of your chapter, you've got four times the opportunity of networking. So that's the exponential effect of growing your chapter. Okay. There's what I call the exponential effect of 
that's a negative one. Pulling the strings. In BNI, it's a two-way networking. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I measure this on something I call the Goalscape Management Dashboard. <coughs> Taking the numbers out of it, you don't need to know the numbers. Hopefully, with this light, you can see the grey area is how far you're filling the particular key performance indicators. That's the total, and then here's the revenue drivers, and there's the growth drivers. Now, pat yourselves on the back. As of May, you've been in green on traffic lights for 12 months. Outstanding achievement. The interesting thing to me, and believe it, I did a big research study two years ago. I studied chapters across this country. I've since studied chapters in Belgium, in America, in wherever. So I've done thousands of these analyses. And for the first time, I saw last year that the hub filled the growth drivers. Those are bringing the visitors in, converting the visitors, growing the membership. But interestingly, throughout the 12 months, you haven't filled the revenue drivers. Now that, when I saw that in whatever it was, sometime last year, <coughs> it was quite unusual, because I'd never seen it before. And the only other time I've seen it is there's a chapter meets in uh, Ferndale called Prosperous. And once in 12 months, they've also been in green for 12 months, but once in 12 months, they fill the growth drivers. But notice their revenue drivers. Apart from these little blips here, they're full throughout. And that's the sign of an active chapter. Okay. Prosperous were great because they managed to also fill the revenue driver, and they had 100% on traffic, traffic lights in August last year. And they were awarded a Founders Award by Ivan Marsden. Fantastic achievement. So, what are we going to do? Here's a quick view. I don't want to dwell on it. You've been running a program called VIP. But only one person in the chapter is capable of bringing one visitor a month consistently. And more than half the chapter are bringing less than one per three months. So, there is a problem bringing visitors. But let's not dwell on that. This is the interesting one to me. This is a picture of your last six months of the number of people who are capable of bringing more than one referral. Okay? And look at it. There's 12 of you, but then there's three of you. This is the scoring criteria. But 13 of you, about nearly half the chapter, are very, very low on referrals. Okay? This is giving referrals. Givers gain. Okay. Look at the profile of the prosperous. They've, they're weighted all this way. Okay, they've still got a few people who... So this is the bit you've got to focus on, I believe, into the future. Filling these revenue drivers. Now, <clears throat> you've, you've done very, very well over the year. Twelve months ago, you were at 20 in this chapter. You're now at 33, could be 34. <clears throat> so you've grown your unit. But the referral block, probably doesn't show up very well here, but I will provide these slides, is still empty. Even when we get over to last month, it's still empty. So you're not generating enough referrals. You're not using that exponential effect that the chapter has increased 50% in membership in 12 months, i.e. more than double the networking opportunities. But somehow you're not able to but the trend is there, the, 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 the positive trend is there. So what I would advise you to do is I'd invest more in education, <clears throat> specifically towards how you gain referrals, how you meet, how you network with this group, how you conduct a proper one-to-one, -one, and aim to get more referrals, because when you do that, this chapter is going to be... I mean, it's superb at the moment, superb, because throughout that 12-month revenue driver, there isn't absenteeism, which is a cancer that a lot of chapters suffer. So what I would advise is we take the members and we start to mentor them. I can help you if you want to how to conduct a proper one-to-one, -one, 
Create some power teams, I think you're starting to do that, and bring people of different contact spheres together and give them the opportunity to further uh, demonstrate and expose their business. And I think then you'll fill those revenue drivers. And once you do that, you're going to hit 100%. So that's my message. Power of one. Thank you very much.